I've always wanted to become a doctor and a scientist, so my main achievement for that would be to be able to go out into a real world and be able to excel in areas of teamwork and understand the concept straight away and understand how everything works in the real world, which I think I can get out of the school. I kind of want to be more of a leader um, when I leave here, and I think that's going to happen. I'm probably going to go to uni. I'm confident that this will set me up for it. Learning Hubs are small groups of students where one teacher, which we call a learning coach, helps and guides us through our learning during the five years at school. So it's like your mini family inside your school. It really creates that strong bond. In Learning Hubs, we focus a lot on the habits and how we can develop them. Uh, here at Hobsonville, we have 10 key principles. We call them the Hobsonville habits. They help us develop our personal excellence as well as academic excellence and we develop them across everything we do. Learning modules are classes taught by either one or two teachers that teach different learning areas and this allows us to look at different aspects of one concept. Like at school here we're showing how everything is linked together and yet that's something that I really enjoy. But then when you put maths with like PE which I love it's really really fun because you get a look at how math is involved with movement. I had a module called Horror in a Hotel, so it was a mixture of English and visual arts. Big projects are the Partnow curriculum where students collaborate with each other in order to make a difference in the outside community. It was an opportunity for you to be able to connect more with the outside world, the real world. Because I get to go out and do things in the community and see the difference that I'm making. Last year I started a project where I really enjoy my basketball and I decided I want to take it one step further and help other kids. Like I connected up with the New Zealand Breakers. They gave me a coaching book which showed me all the drills that I could be running. So I linked up with Hobsonville Primary. I taught them basic skills and from that I got 80% of them involved in the school teams. I've done things like designing the banners that you would see across the fences outside the school when you come in, displaying the 10 habits. And this term we're all raising money for KidsCan in whatever way we can. And so we're designing phone cases that charge your phone, so it's going to be a solar powered case. As we put the learning into projects, at the end we come out with something like we can understand personally how we would use it when we're older and how it's going to benefit us and help us. The teachers are really good at challenging you, especially if they feel like you could be doing better. If they see you struggling, they'll give a helping hand, they're really supportive, but they're really constructive at the same time. If they think you could be working excellence instead of a merit, they'll push you. So they're a lot more responsive to your needs and they really guide you and they won't give up on anyone. So they see where you're at and they often give you that push to get up to the next level. Another thing that I really like about this school is being able to really focus and personalise your own learning. Yeah, depending on your interests, different teachers you'll get connected to a lot more. They just started to really have a passion for music and like sound and, and performances and everything like that. Because, and now finally, uh, learning an instrument, so it'll be really helpful for me to learn all this sort of stuff. When a lot of the students here leave for university, they'll be well prepared. And yeah, I want to be sort of a well-rounded person, and I feel like that's really going to come off how you sort of learn skills for the rest of your life. I think it's a really smart way to teach students like us because I think the world needs something new.